Okay, my sales career will never be the same because I've decided to stand my desk up for more hours in the day than I sit down in order to raise the altitude on my customers to increase deal size and to improve my posture and my back. Just kidding, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about here today. I wanted to share the four things that I'm giving up in my own life in order to maximize my potential. Like many of you, I wanna reach the next level in my life, in my career. I wanna make a lot of money. I wanna be super successful. And historically, I've always had to give up and sacrifice things at that moment in order to reach the next level and evolve into the person I've always wanted to be. And the four things I'm giving up is having a backup plan, number one. Number two is focusing on too many things at once. Number three, drinking alcohol. We've talked about this one before, but we're serious this time. And then finally, number four is comparing myself to others. And this is a big one. A bit of context here. When I first started my tech sales career, I was a sales development rep. I was super raw and I'm not especially talented. I don't think I'm smarter than anyone else. I don't think I'm better looking. I don't think I'm funnier. I don't necessarily have these intangibles because I never had experience or connections. I'm someone who's willing to show up early, leave late, and do the things that other people are not willing to do. And what I've found is that by focusing on the things in my control, I'm able to elevate myself ahead of others because I'm willing to do the hard things that most people don't even wanna think about. So for example, as I was a sales development rep, I made a list. I said, what are the things that are holding me back from maximizing my potential? Because I wanna to promote to an account executive. And the two things that were top of the list that were holding me back, that were reducing my certainty in life, were number one, gambling on sports, and number two, playing video games. Gambling, I would sit around all day, it would lead me to drink alcohol, make irrational decisions, bet money on games. It didn't really matter if I lost the money, I didn't need the money, but I'd waste all this time, and I would wake up Monday morning being in a hole, having lost money over the weekend, thinking about, okay, who am I gonna bet on Monday night football? And it was just a nightmare. And it, it, it was, it's so hard to get out of that cycle when all you do is watch sports. So I completely cut that out, got rid of my TV, and I really just don't watch sports whatsoever, and I think I'm so much better off because of it. And playing video games is a monumental waste of time. I used to be epic at NBA 2K in Madden, online head-to-head, -head. whoever you are, wherever you may be watching, I guarantee you in my prime, I would have beaten you. I was really good at it. But then I, there came a point where I said, this is a leisure activity, I love it, and it's fun, I'm competitive, but why am I spending time leveling up my game online when I could actually focus my time on leveling up my character in real life. As soon as I realized that, video games were just an enormous waste of time and I threw away my Xbox. People are like, why didn't you just try and sell it? I was like, I had to get rid of it immediately. By sacrificing those two things, it helped free up so much time and headspace so that I could focus that extra energy on being more successful in my tech sales career, on building this YouTube channel. So now I'm at a place, I'm a senior account executive, I just got a new job at my company, I'm nearing my five year anniversary, and the next stage is becoming a full-fledged enterprise rep, working with accounts five billion plus in revenue, and I've identified four things that I feel certain about. If I can fully remove and eliminate, it will allow me more headspace to focus on the right things to reach the next level in my journey. Subscribe to the channel now if you haven't already. The first thing is having a backup plan. I think it's really scary to get to a place of burning the ships. Hey, we're going to the island, burn all the ships. Either we die here or we take the island. There's no going back. And when you get to a place where you're really all in with what you're doing, there are no excuses if you fail. And that's why it's so scary. But in order to truly maximize your potential, you need to be all in on the thing you're doing. Something I haven't really spoken much to you guys about is my upbringing and what my parents did and what they do. So they started a small business. I'm not gonna talk about what that business is, but my whole life I've thought, you know what? I could just go work for that business and it would be pretty easy, right? Basically taking over, being the boss, not having a manager, doing my own thing. Going through college, I didn't work hard because I just thought, you know what? I could just go work for this business and it's always been a great asset because it's a backup plan, but it's always been a crutch and a liability because I've known that, hey, if things don't work out, I can just go do that. And when things have gotten hard in my tech sales career, my mind creeps back to that place. Well, although you love tech, 
you could just go work in this other industry where you don't really understand and use nepotism just because your parents own the small business. And it's held me back until now. And I've gotten to a place where I said, you know what? I'm going to forge my own path. I've been in tech for nearly five years. I don't need that. And simply thinking about that black backup plan as an, as an option is holding me back from maximizing my potential. So heading into the new year, I've removed that from my mind. It's not even, it's not even a focus. If anything, it's, hey, take massive risk. And if things don't work out, you kind of have a backup plan, but it's not, hey, if things get hard, let's just go take the easy route because you have a backup plan. Number two is focusing on too many things at once. I have this YouTube channel. I have LinkedIn posting. I have my full-time job. I have health, fitness, a lot of different things. As, as I think about my success in my tech sales career, it correlates with the success of this channel because the more successful I am in the real world actually doing things, it builds more credibility and allows me to talk about different things and reach more people online and on YouTube. I actually have a second YouTube channel where you can find it somewhere on my page called Trent Talks Money. There's no video posted on it. It used to be Sales Prestige. I posted podcasts on there. It's got over 2,000 subscribers. It's monetized. There's millions of people that would love to have a monetized channel. I don't even post on it, but I still think about it. I'm even talking about it now. When it, I shouldn't even be thinking about it. I should just give it away. I don't need it because I need to be focusing on the main channel. I need to be focusing on the main thing in my tech sales career. The more you can remove, the more focus you have on the main thing. You wanna keep the main thing the main thing. And historically, I've had problems with getting excited, focusing on something else. But this year, I'm committed to you guys, focusing on growing this main channel to 100,000 subscribers and promoting to an enterprise account executive at my company. Number three, alcohol. This is something I don't have a problem with. And I think when you talk about, hey, I don't drink or I'm quitting alcohol, people naturally assume that it's an impediment. I drank probably 10, 12 times the entire year last year, maybe once every two, three months. But when I did, it, I'd be more inclined to say, you know what, let's run it back two nights later. It's just, it's just fun. The only, my biggest thing with drinking is if you do it maybe once a month, once a quarter, it's not a problem. But that one time you do do it, you have a lot of fun and you wake up, you're hungover. That one next morning then impacts the momentum for that entire next week. That next morning, you, you lose certainty in yourself. Even if you have nothing going on, making money and being successful is so hard in and of itself that doing things like alcohol or even drugs, it's just standing in your own way. It's making your own path harder. I will drink at some point in the future, but I will not drink until I truly reach the levels of success that I want to have, until I reach financial freedom, until I reach the goals I have in my career, because it's simply just holding me back from maximizing my potential. So I'm giving up alcohol, and you guys will keep me accountable for that, but I'm gonna keep myself accountable for it. I'm not gonna talk about it, because the people that try and virtue signal with it and are always talking about it, kind of them trying to make themselves more interesting, I'm not gonna talk about it, because it's not even something I'm thinking about, because I've completely removed it, etched it out of my memory. Number four, the thing I'm giving up is comparing myself to others. This is still something that I am trying to get better at. I'll go to LinkedIn. I won't even read the post and judge the merit of the idea to determine if I associate it with it or not. I'll look at the post and the first thing I'll say is, oh, I know that guy. How many likes did he get? Oh, not that many likes. Ha, huh, I could get more likes. Or, wow, they have so many likes. It makes me feel less about myself. When you compare yourself to others, it naturally makes you feel less about yourself when it's it's such a it's such a fool's errand because there is no comparison the only comparison that matters is you being better than you were yesterday when other people are successful it actually enlarges the pie so when you see other people at your company put up more revenue than than you this is something i used to compare myself i actually celebrate that now i think i do a really good job about that in my career but in the side hustle, it, with the YouTube, with the LinkedIn stuff, it's so easy to see, oh, that person's making more money online. That person gets more engagement. Okay, rather than resenting them for that or feeling less about myself, how can I learn from that? And then how can I just not even worry about what other people are doing, but pull inspiration from the people that truly are doing a lot more? And it also comes with the other side of the coin. It means you can't look at other people and think that you're better than them. This is also something I struggle with. 
Because if you think you're better than other people, someone else is gonna come up that's actually better than you in every observable metric in life, and it will make you feel smaller, it will make you feel less certain, less of a person on your right path, and if anything, it's a distraction, and just because you disagree with one of my ideas or just because you don't like me, that doesn't change how I should view myself. And just because when I look at other people and think something about them, that doesn't impact me whatsoever because all that really matters at the end of the day is my own perception of myself. Those are the four things that I am giving up, completely removing. My sales career will never be the same as a result. I'm going to get to the next level in my career, in my life, and I'm confident that these are the four things that I must sacrifice in order to fully allocate maximum focus and energy on the right things, the big think, the goals, to reach the next level. I wanna hear in the comments, what is the one thing that you can give up today to help you reach the next level? Just take a second and truly think about what is that one thing, and you can think it to yourself, but if you actually put it in writing, it makes it so much more real, and that's part of the reason why I like to make these videos, because me talking out loud makes it real, and now I'm sharing these things, and if I don't actually back up what I'm saying, it makes me a complete fraud, which I do not believe I am. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, I hope you subscribe, because it really helps the channel, and I'd love if you support me along my journey. I wanna support you in yours. Have a great rest of your day, bye.